Hi mathematicians, welcome back to the Mathematics YouTube channel. In this video we'll be proving the amazing binomial theorem. Stay tuned! So we're going to be proving the binomial theorem. There's a few ways to do this but I'm going to do a proof by induction. The binomial theorem is very useful. It allows us to expand binomials without expanding a million brackets. So let's get straight into this. Hopefully you're familiar with proof by induction um, before watching this. Um, I'm recording this before actually recording a video on proof by induction on my channel. Um, but of course that will come at some point. So first let us define, I'm actually going to try and write as much as possible but um, handwriting is not great on the computer. So let us define ln equals, so the left hand, we're going to define the left hand side and the right hand side. So ln equals a plus b to the power of n and rn equals nk equals 0 and choose k, a to the power of n minus k b to the power of k. Well of course this n choose k is defined as this. So we want to do our base k so we want to show that l1 is equal to r1 so l1 equals a plus b to the power of 1 by definition this is just a plus b and r1 equals so we're gonna have k equals 0 to n equals 1 and this equals so first we're gonna have when k equals 0 and n equals 1 so this is 1 choose 0 a to the power of 1 minus 0 b to the power of 0 plus I'm going to have 1 choose 1 a to the power of 1 minus 1 and b to the power of 1 and this will so 1 choose 1 and 1 choose 1 I'm sorry, 1 choose 0 and 1 choose 1 are both equal to 1. Um, we have a to the 1, b to the power of 0 is just 1. So this is a plus, so this is a to the power of 0, so that's just 1. So we have a plus b. So yes, um, L1 equals R1 and our base case is satisfied. So this holds when n equals 1. So now we're moving on to our inductive step. So let's fix n in n. So that's n is some natural number. And suppose is L N equals R N so now we want to show that this also holds true for L N plus 1 so we're going to show true for m plus 1 so if we have a plus b to the power of n plus 1 that is equal to
times a plus b and that is because of course a plus b to the n plus 1 is the same as a plus b to the n times by a plus b to the power of 1 which is this so let's write what this summation actually is so that is n g zero a to the n b to the zero plus n g is one a to the n minus one b to the one plus n g is two a to the n minus two b squared plus and choose n a to the zero b to the n and this is times our a plus b so we can actually multiply this out now so if we multiply through by a and then plus this multiply by b so we have so we have n choose zero so multiplied by a we get a to the n plus one b to the zero plus n choose one so this is now a to the n plus n choose two a to the n minus one b squared plus n choose n and now this is a b to the n so I actually write 1 just because and then this is plus I'm actually going to write underneath and it will actually be good if I write underneath I'll start here so n g zero so we're times in by b so a to the n b to the power one plus n choose one a to the n minus one b squared plus n choose two a to the n minus two b cubed plus n choose n a to the zero b to the n plus one perfect so now and if you've noticed we have we can collect our light terms so this is equal to n g zero a to the n plus one b to the zero plus so now we have n g zero plus n g one times by a to the n b to the one plus n g is one plus n g is two times a to the n minus one b squared plus the term before n choose m would of course be n choose n minus one and we get n choose n minus one plus n choose n times by a to the power of one b n and then we also have this is not gonna fit plus n choose m 
a to the power of zero, b to the n plus one. So, using Pascal's identity, which is true for m less than or equal to n, so I'm just going to write this in green. So, it states that n choose m plus n choose m plus 1 equals m plus 1 choose m plus 1. So we're going to use that. So this is not part of the proof, just for you to note the next step. So this equals so now n choose 0 is 1 we could have anything on top choose 0 it's always going to be 1 so we're just going to change it to m plus 1 choose 0 times a to the m plus 1 b to the 0 plus so now we have so basically this is saying when you have plus one on the bottom, so here we have zero, zero plus one is one. Ends on top, so this is equal to m plus one, choose one. So we have m plus one, choose one, a to the n, b of 1 plus now this is m plus 1 choose 2 times a to the n minus 1 b squared plus so now here we get n plus 1, sorry, yeah, n plus 1, choose n times a to the 1, b to the n, and then plus, and n choose n is 1, and n plus 1, choose n plus 1 is also 1, so you can just change that to n plus 1, choose n plus 1, times by a, Five zero b five m plus one. Um, this as a summation is m plus one cheese k a to the m plus one minus k b to the k and we can put empty box we have proved the binomial theorem so that's it guys thank you for watching thank you so much for watching please like the video and subscribe to mathematics for more math tutorials